guys, it's Queen Bija, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to the specials of Monthly Girls Nozaki Hoon. Specials 1 through 6. I mean, at first, I thought these OVAs were going to be like at least 23 minutes and such. And I was like, oh, we're about to have like three more weeks of two videos in <laughs> each, for each episode. But then when I downloaded them, I was like, oh, they're like three minutes. I was like, these are short. And I was like, well, I can put it all in one big video instead of like separating it and stretching it out, you know? But yeah, let's go ahead and get started with a special one and three, two, one, go. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, what exactly has been bothering you? Oh. <laughs> of course. Of course that is me bothering you. No, 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 no. no. Oh, if y'all, if you only knew, if you only knew. <laughs> That's the only reason why I'm so excited. It's okay, it's cute. Well, because, you know, you get a certain type of life, you know? I mean, that was obvious. Come on, if a girl is also going, you're, they're going to be in a separate bath, as a room, everything. I mean, come on, let's really be smart about that real quick. Poor baby. <laughs> but the fact that this first issue was literally nothing about but the issue that happened at the end of the, <laughs> at the, end of the show. I'm like, hmm, who's that guy who was hanging out with her? <laughs> I had a feeling, I had a big behind feeling that was going to come up because honestly, I mean, the way they ended it in the show, I mean, it was just like something that was going to happen. Like it was going to come up and I was like, yeah, are they really going to leave the show like this where it's just like, oh, hey, what's your face? <laughs> it's here, dressed as a casual guy, even though we all know she's a girl. <laughs> I mean, oh, God, I can't. I, I, I know, like, there, there's been so many shows that I've seen <laughs> to the point where I've lost count that's done misunderstandings in a nutshell. But, like, 
husband. This thing, the king. Like, oh my god. But can we just talk about the beginning with the girl? And I was just like, yeah, that's my decision me. <laughs> she tripped. And it's nothing but the doggy. <laughs> We about to see that for the next, like, what? Five videos. <laughs> so cute. Poor baby, though. I mean, mm, she a klutz. It's okay. You know what? You and Toru would be the best of friends, and that it's fine. Like, oh my god, she's so precious. <laughs> the fact that no talking was sick of just no matter what, like, at the end of the day, it is always about, if we're going somewhere, it was like, he's like, yep, I'm gonna come for, like, research purposes, let me take some pictures, let me get inspired by something, I mean, like, that's, like, how, oh my god, it, it they didn't do this in, um, Love is Hard for Otaku, but, like, it's the, it's one of my other personal favorite episodes, besides the OVA that focused on my favorite couple, um, the episode where they went to the music park, and they were all, well, it was a date first, but then everybody hung out together. I mean, can you imagine Ozaki just there, just, like, taking pictures of everything? I mean, like, typically any anime that I watch now, or in the past, like, one of my other favorite shows did it, and this was, like, years ago, when I was, like, waking up at, like, six in the morning just to watch the dang show, because Crunchyroll officially got the rights to it and everything, and they wanted to air it at 6 in the god dang morning, and I was like, I'm not waking up 6 in the morning for this, but I did. Um, it was one episode of Magic Kaito where they went to a music part, and I, <laughs> I haven't rewatched it, but if I rewatched it today or whatever, oh my god, Nozaki would just be on my mind the whole entire I can't. I love Nozaki so much. Like, oh my god. But, you know, sometimes you just want him to just be in the moment and just be like, no, don't take any pictures or anything. Be in that moment with your friends, with Sakura. Like, if him and Sakura have a moment in these little specials, like, please. I swear to god. Like, so you hurt me still with that somewhat almost kiss and ish and everything in me. You know, I just need that. I need something else to, like, Hold me over since this show is over, even though I can rewatch it on Netflix anytime I want to. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for special two. <laughs> okay, special two and three, two, one, go. Poor baby, just tell her how you feel. <laughs> if you only knew, baby. <laughs> Because it's three girls going on a trip together, having fun, sleepovers, is. Me, buddy! <laughs> Yeah, you kind of want to know that about a guy. Yes, 
Kashima, you look really nice. He's finally gonna find out. No, no, oh, I need a lot of <laughs> that is worse than the Asian Amazon boy. Oh my god, are you serious, boy? I mean, I get it, I get it, because he <laughs> thinks she was a boy. Oh, baby boy, if you only knew. I mean, he's gotta find out within these next, like, four episodes, right? I mean... There is no way in the heck. I mean, they're, they're gonna drag it on for purpose. I get that. But I feel like, God, oh my God. If they wait until the last short to say, oh, hey, you know, he is a C. <laughs> I can't have my stomach hurt so much right now. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. He gonna be so, he gonna look so stupid once he find out. <laughs> but I mean I get it because typically you're going to the mall and you know, this is we're all going on this trip, you gotta go get some bathing suits and it's <laughs> Because he's there. Yeah, you come along and too. Come on, Waka. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> he was so, like, oh, my God. The only thing that I can compare this to, and this is ain't funny. You know when you go to the store <clears throat> and um, you're at the register. You're in the line for the register. And this has happened to me, like, multiple occasions and stuff not as much now uh because of corona but okay so let's say you're at the store and you're at the register and you know you're gonna write a pay for your ish and everything and you have the person behind you like all up in your space that's what it literally felt like seeing Waka <laughs> like all up in their space like oh my god and i i literally like hate that when people do that because i'm like dude and so sometimes you have to block not only them but also the register so that they're not all up in your bubble if i can literally feel your like you breathing like right on my neck like that's a little too much like personal space if this is my air bubble that means you need to back up <laughs> like get the f off me i hate that about people sometimes because i'm like hey you back up like this is me and you need to be over here. Stay in your lane. Bag up. But now because of, you know, the virus and everything, everyone's like, yeah, we gotta be six feet. It's six feet and it's like that. I get that. But like, you know, once this ish is over, it's literally going to be back up on registers, like all up on your behind and just squeezing and squeezing. And I'm just gonna be like, oh my god, like please, like personal bubble space. Like God, it's stop. But, oh my god. <laughs> like that poor baby be like, mm, are you a pervert or some shit? Are you gonna do something to me when they're not looking? <laughs> Jesus, walk out. Just <laughs> me, Corinne. Poor baby. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh, go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for special three. Okay, special three is three, two, one, go. It makes you wonder, like, why they didn't have an episode about the curse dreams. <laughs> uh, I mean, damn, calm down. Yes, Waka. That's natural. Yeah.
I mean, I, I don't think, you know, she's of that size. I mean, I don't know if he just hurt his feelings, but I feel like he just did. Either one. I mean, the one on the left looks like something from Mermaid Melody, and the one on the right, I don't know. Oh, is yes, it really? Girl, This is just you. Yes. Oh my God, finally. <laughs> Come here, Cody. Good job, Waka. You made it. Out. <laughs> Come here, puppy. Oh my god, I really thought. So I'm guessing with, okay, so the first three was about this. The next week will literally be about anything. Come here! Oh my god! <clears throat> but, oh, like, thank you. It wasn't stretched out, but still, it did the lead took three. <laughs> ah, Waka, yeah, mm-hmm. You look a little stupid right now, but you know what? It's okay. It's stupid funny. I mean, it's fine. You know, it happens to everybody. You know, some people automatically assume, and that's why people should never really assume, you know, uh, someone could be this or someone could be that just by the way they dress or anything. And it's like that. But it was really cute. And then you do talking about the pink bra and then, like, buying it and stuff and just saying to freaking Waka, oh, my God. Like, if you say that, <laughs> I mean, I think his pride as a man would go down when you say to him, your fashion sense sucks. I don't know. I mean, oof, like, poor, like, poor baby. Oh, my God. This boy, like, <laughs> he was only doing it, really, obviously, to be a little nice in a way, but it was cute. Like, come on. I mean, the, the pink bra was cute. I mean, it was some, it's something I would kind of wear as well, like. But I, I'm, a, I'm the type of girl that's like, I need support, like, <laughs> the bad boys up sometimes. But, like, oh my god. <laughs> but finally, walking down, I was like, oh, I'm so proud of my baby boy. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> you poor baby. You gotta feel bad for him, though, because it's just like, oh shit, like, I assume. You're like, oh, you poor thing. It's okay. You just, you know, this is a warning. Just no, don't do that again. <laughs> and now it makes me wonder what the second half of these shorts are gonna be like because since they've officially, you know, solved this problem that you know Waka had from behind, I mean, the next one could literally be about the situation of Nozaki and Sakura and their last few moments that they had with each other and then you know maybe they could talk it's a curve people like what did you mean about that like what did you say because i still want to know what in the world he said and just, mm, it would be so nice i'm just saying but yeah good and pause video and i'll see you guys in one second for a special four 
Okay, special four in three, two, one, go. Ah, okay, that makes sense. It would be the beach and trip and everything. He's just using it for research right now. Yeah. You know what? With that situation, he is so much <laughs> him and the producer from Idol Match just did around the girl name. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. I, I don't think you well, see, that's something Tomaki would say to Hanahi. <laughs> he likes them too. <laughs> oh, okay. Really? Really? <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> 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 Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, just come on, buddy. Y'all know you have a crush on it. Thank <laughs> 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 you with my mama room sometimes. Oh my god. <laughs> Mama is such a good BA. Like anything he did, I can't. Because as someone who's currently bringing watching Utsuna no Prince and the two characters that he has to play are completely different. <laughs> I mean, one of them, I feel like, because they're brothers. One reminds me so much if, like, Mikorin, I mean, no, I am, no, Okarin from Stein's Game. Since that is also another character she's voiced, was really, really serious. <laughs> and the other one was Tamaki from Ori. And then he, <laughs> he felt so sweet. I mean, sometimes, like, when I hear his voice, I just, I automatically just think of Riku instantly from Kingdom Hearts because, you know, he's fucking Riku, and sometimes I can't take him seriously as Riku because I'm just like, <laughs> I just want to play the game in Japanese. So bad. Just to hear him with Riku. <laughs> but I mean, you have YouTube and you get to watch it in Japanese. But I'm like, it's not the same. I'm like, it's better to just like 
hear the Japanese voices and play the game. And, and, you know, yeah, Tetsuya Nomura, one day you're just going to bring those games and you're going to give us the audio in Japanese and that is going to be the best day of my life. Because, oof, I mean, hearing both, like, Mamoru and the guy who plays Sora and Kingdom Hearts. Like, and the same with freaking Roxas. And she's like, oof. I'm sorry I had to say that, but, like, this is the cutest Beach episode ever. I mean, even though it is a short, it just, like, it was adorable. It was everything I think he needed. And he took her. She looked so cute. But, like, the fact is that Nozaki only commented on the tube and not her swimsuit. It's oh. oh my god. I mean, there are, like, typically, and I'm gonna use freaking <laughs> Tamaki again. I'm just saying that, like, there are some guys who are, like, who do prefer to see the swimsuit when it's just them and the girl. I don't know. I haven't met those types of guys. I've only seen it in anime. Maybe one day I will meet that type of guy, but typically with that, that's more going into, like, the lingerie aspect of it. But yeah, I, I, you know, you also gotta feel bad for Kashi Makuna and having all the guys following her just because they want to see boobs from a girl. And it's like that. I mean, boy. And then the fact <laughs> like we all know the situation of what he's by Kashi Nam. We know what he's by Secretly he has a crush on her. So, I, I mean, it's obvious. But like, you know how... <clears throat> When, the first time when I was watching the show and then seeing the couples all finally getting together and seeing who was matched up or paired up with who, my biggest thing about this show was before, but, uh, before I can speak right now, before this show um, was almost over or almost ended, I wanted to see at least almost maybe one or two couples like confessing to each other, but it didn't happen. And I still don't know because I haven't even read the manga and I would like to read the manga just to see how in the world it possibly ended. It's also how... I currently feel with um, the Sounds of Life series and how in the end the two couples who like dead ass had feelings for each other didn't confess in the end and it didn't piss me off as much. It was like because when I finished the show last week when I was recording it before it came out on Patreon and today for everybody else because today is Tuesday for me. Um, I wasn't as pissed. Like at first I was like if they end the show with nobody confessing that's fine. And that's what I kind of said with this show. I was like if it ends with no one confessing that's fine. I ain't gonna get mad about it or anything. But it's so cute how like the tension or sexual tension between these couples. Like I can't. It's like this is our children series where they're all couples and then that sexual tension and then your mom pops in while they're trying to do something and like hmm what's going on here? <laughs> but it's so cute, though. Like, oh my god, my heart. Like, mmm. <laughs> Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for special five. Okay, special five in three, two, one. Oh. It shines brighter than you, the sun. The sun. Oh God, no. <laughs> me as a girl, that's what I do with guys. Let me cast, let me feel.
I mean, but seriously, like, all the guys in the show. I mean, oh, so good. So, all the guys in the show are like, ooh. ooh. This is exactly what I needed. Just, ah, uh, just the fan service guy. It's like, mm. Mm. <laughs> I can't believe the time, but I'm, I woke up at 6 in the morning just to watch the first episode of what, like, season 4 of My Hero, and it was just like the episode where they just swam in the pool. That was the best episode for me. I mean, oof. <laughs> I mean, me as a girl, I'm in, like, because I've seen Frank way too many times, and just, I remember one time, <laughs> just, like, man, crawling over here at, like, 2 in the morning, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, like, Waka, you, like, Precious, adorable baby, you are so cute, and I love you so much. Like, oh my god! By the way, Miyuri Nozaki, the current doing. Oh my god! That <laughs> just reminds me of the stuff me and my friends used to do. <laughs> Especially when it's like a car, like you see three people, and you're like, <laughs> just like where is this place? Because you can't hear their conversation. And we would make up the stupidest things. <laughs> it's just a uh, but Waka. I, I, you know, I, I kind of don't want to say. I kind of want to say he's right about you know. Who's the major side of that? I mean, you know, some people have like really big boobs, and then you know their back hurts and it's like that. It just you, you feel so bad for them. I mean, I've never really had to deal with that in that situation, but um, bruh, if I, <laughs> I mean, like let's look at all typical anime characters, the, the females, like, and how there are some who are just like. They have, their, their boobs are, like, way too big, and I've been just sitting here, and I've been like, hold on, if we were, like, if this was real world, world standards, your back would be hurting so much. Like, me, I, I'm, like, I'm big, but I ain't that big, but, like, oof. <laughs> it's, like, the freaking TikTok video I saw, and I was just like, oh, my God. Because <laughs> somebody was making jokes about it, and I couldn't stop laughing. It was fucking hilarious. It was everything I needed. <laughs> but like, oh, this is such a good meet episode. Even though we're not done yet. I mean, and then Mikori and just like having yucky over with this. Let's <laughs> say it a couple of girls and then I'm talking about it. And then Mikori just talking about ish from like a <laughs> so game. Oh god, I love him so much. Poor baby. He just he's so cute. He, he knows exactly what to say, and that's what I love about him, but then he, some of the things that he says, he's the wrong time, but it's okay. He's so adorable, but go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for the final special. Okay, special six in three, two, one, go. And it would have it in small, like, bluish, but we already know what it says, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Huh? 
What did you do? Huh? <laughs> I can't believe I know. Oh god. I hope they get their some drugs back. Your pride. Mm hmm You know, it was bound to happen. Mm-hmm. You were an asshole. No, oh, that was so cute. Honestly, that was freaking adorable. But you know what? We all knew that was going to happen because typically, usually, not in every beach or fan service type of episode when it's like, let's go swimming, let's go to the pool, let's go somewhere. Typically, usually, but not all. There are some, and I haven't really seen some. And, you know, this is not my first time where I've seen it. But, you know, typically when you're reading, like, fan fictions or whatever, you see it more there. <laughs> where either a top or... <laughs> One <laughs> truck just seriously disappeared. And it's funnier when typically if it's a guy, the guy will literally just stay in the pool for like, I mean, not even the pool, the pool, the ocean, whatever, like for the whole day until it's nighttime because they don't want to get a bath because there's a whole bunch of people around them. And they're like, yeah, I don't want to get out of the pool yet. <laughs> I'm gay. But honestly, this one was cute. I loved both. I love the fact that it was in shorts because I'm guessing at the time it was just released monthly. So it was like you had to wait a month just to see each short to see how and the beginning and middle and end and how it was going to get resolved and things like that. And it was sweet. It was cute and everything. I enjoyed them both. They were just like really, really adorable. And I love the fact that they were both still essentially canned into the series, especially with the first half of the shorts and then the second half of the shorts was relatively canon to the first shorts and stuff like that but i mean honestly if i could i would love to see the show get a second season i mean it's a it's not underrated per se i will say it's a it's a bomb ass show it's really good but i feel like because i am so late to the game to this show and i like it took me the longest time to finally watch this show and the fact that I've officially watched the show and I finished it, it's just so good. And I loved it so much. And let's just say, I mean, if it did, it did. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, I'll just read the manga to find out how in the world it happened. I mean, it's the same thing, like, if, and God forbid if this happens and if I don't, I really don't think this is going to happen with the, with the series that I'm about to talk about, Freaking Love is War with uh, Kaguya-sama. Um, we all know that that show, I think it's going to get maybe two more seasons maybe but if it doesn't maybe i'll read the manga even though like one of my youtuber friends technically kind of spoiled me on something because they tagged me in a picture and i was just like oh well there it is we all knew it was coming but like i i didn't really want to get spoiled on it and yeah and i mean i talk about it all the time in almost every single um freaking kaguya some of video i do and I say, I can't talk about it until we possibly get there. And I don't know when we're going to get there because 
as someone who hasn't read the manga, I don't even know where we are manga wise because of the reason. But yeah, it was cute. Both of them were adorable as heck, and I loved it. But I just want a season two. That's all I want. I just I want more interactions with these characters because I fell for these characters and the world and everything for them hard. Heck, I might even use the ending of this show as my next outro because I'm kind of looking for a new intro and outro. But I'm too busy with other things to really have time. And I think the Sakura um, <laughs> ending of it, it's like the cutest thing ever. And I was like, oh my god, if I make a new one, like, I'm honestly using this. And I found, I think I found like a couple of them, credulous. But I, I think I'm going to have to go on that one set that I used for finding like all the other animes. And especially like Monogatari and shit like that and stuff. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards these specials of Monthly Girls Nozaki Goon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys all officially next time. Bye!